There's been an awful lot of Vietnamese instruments I've got a ukulele of late, and that's where we're going back today. Keep watching. Yeah, it's got a ukulele review day back again. This is the summary video review. If you see the link below this video, that will take you to the website where you'll see better pictures, scores, or the details, the real details about this instrument. Uh, I've been away for a couple of weeks. There's quite a few more thank yous there running across the bottom of the screen. These are people who have very, very generously donated to help keep Got A Ukulele going because I don't take any money from the shops or the brands to do this because uh, I couldn't review impartially if I did that. Uh, and if you like what you see on the channel, as I always say, it would really help me out if you would consider subscribing to the Got A Ukulele channel. Uh, right, okay, yeah, Vietnamese instruments. Uh, and this is a brand, actually a British brand, I've reviewed several times before. The brand is called Noah, uh, brainchild of a guy called Matt Cohen, who lives in the UK, but he used to live in Vietnam where he hooked up with uh, Luthia, who makes instruments for him over there under his Noah brand. And this is a brand new one for Noah. This is the Noah Super Tenor. And um, yeah, it's right up my street, actually. Um, super tenor, right, what does that mean? Well, it can mean one of a couple of things. It can either mean a tenor body, but with a baritone scale neck. But in this case, we, what we've got is a baritone sized, oversized body with a standard 17 inch tenor neck on it. Um, I, I'm normally a small instrument guy, but I do like the really big ones as well because I also play guitar and I think that's why it appeals to me. Like all Noah instruments, this is made of all solid tone woods. Uh, solid spruce on the top paired with solid mahogany on the two-piece uh, back and two-piece sides It's a classic combination uh, the bright crispness of spruce mellowed out by the darker woodier tone of mahogany Works very well with guitars. No reason why it shouldn't work here um, And I think it looks the part. It's really classy looks um, Yeah, really nice very slight arch on the back there um, the bridge is made of a Vietnamese hardwood which I'm not even going to bother trying to <laughs> pronounce, uh, but it's very like rosewood. It's a pin bridge, as you can see, fitted with a straight-topped bone saddle, all very tidy. The decoration here is nice too, very classy. Now, I don't normally like abalone around the top of instruments, um, but I say that on the smaller instruments because I think there's more real estate on the top here. I don't think it dominates, it doesn't take over. So what we have is Indian rosewood binding and tail stripe, a uh, bit of black and white purfling on the back uh, and a sort of edge line as well, very nicely done. And on the top, the abalone, which also circles the sound hole as well. Um, all comes together very, very well. Uh, like all Noahs, I've always always say this, you get one or two minor little blemishes in, in the bindings and sort of detailing and things like this, but they're not major. This is probably the tidiest Noah I've ever seen. Uh, it's really, really nice. Moving on, the neck uh, is made of maple, a uh, sort of sandy coloured maple. Uh, it's in three pieces, the joints are pretty well hidden. Tapers off to a kind of flattened profile up here and a really, really, really roomy 40 mil at the nut and 33 from G2A. So if you're like me with big hands and you like a comfortable wide neck, this is that. I mean, it's almost getting up to a guitar. Um, really nice, that. The uh, fingerboard is more of the, that Vietnamese hardwood. It could have been done with being dressed a little bit better back. There's not, they're not marks, but you see a bit of grain mark there that could have been sanded down. Uh, but it's very, very good condition, nice and dark. Um, frets, 19 of those with 14 to the body, no sharp edges, position dots at 3, 5, 7, 10, double 12th, one at the 15th, and dots on the side, two. Uh, nice, nice, nice so far. Up to this headstock, it's this new sort of, um, very much in fashion aren't they these now, this open frame headstock rather than a double slot uh, with a nice sort of bit of detailing round down here. The Noah logo inlaid in pearl and it's faced in mahogany. Um, I did, didn't say the neck is satin which is a great thing because you, it's really, really fast and smooth and it is smooth like glass because it's maple. I think it would have been better for this to be glossed on the front so it would match the body. Uh, that is a really minor gripe. Uh, side mounted open gears, as you can see, they are very good quality on the mechanisms. They, the gearing is not cheap. Um, that's good. And it comes with a set of Aquila strings, a tail strap button and the usual padded gig bag from Noah. 
Um, and the price, really, really good, 269.99. That is really, really, really good. Uh, this is all solid wood, handmade. Um, okay, not handmade in America, but handmade in Vietnam. Uh, that's considerably cheaper than the handmade in Vietnam instruments from people like Romero Creations. Um, and the quality is up there, it's similar. Uh, it, it's really, really, really nicely put together. Um, 269.99 is a very good price, I think. Um, okay, I really like this one. I, I love these dimensions, this big sort of base, um, whilst in the tenor scale. It's not overly heavy. Uh, 785 grams, so it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels very, very sturdy, but it's all going to be about the tone. Now, what's the point of having a bigger body? Well, one of the, one of the points of having a bigger body is building up a bit more volume, a bit more resonance, and the volume is great. Really, really good. Sustain, oh, it's shimmery. The whole thing's vibrating in our hands. And that spruce is certainly bright. sound of that. It's jangly. Complex sound. Strummed is huge fun. Peppy and complex as I say. Ooh, zingy. is a lovely instrument. I love the tone of that. It's really complex and characterful. It's not one dimensional, which a lot of instruments can be. Um, it's got a voice of its own. And for only $269.99, I think it's an absolute killer of a price. Oh, well, look, let me put it another way. This is my favorite Noah I've ever played. I think this is, this is a cracking instrument. The Noah, all solid. Uh, spruce and mahogany super tenor brand new from them uh, available direct from Noah uh, he does also ship worldwide as well but you need to get in touch with him and work out what the time scales and costs would be for that but it's also free shipping in the UK so there's no extra cost on that uh, Noah super tenor rambling again aren't I rambling again um, this is a lovely instrument isn't it don't you think I think so I think I think he's knocked it out of the park with this one absolutely would be delighted and more than happy to have this in my collection um it's a great instrument right okay i am back uh no i'm not here next week um the reason i was uh, i missed last week was i was supposed to be going away on holiday but uh, my daughter contracted covid so we couldn't travel she's fine again now but we're taking her out next weekend as a as a as a sorry sort of treat so i won't be here next weekend back the week after that and I hope you all go very carefully take care stay safe and thanks for watching bye bye